Hey guys, welcome to our study. We're just hanging out. Kind of been hanging out in here all day, and um, I just woke up this morning and I just turned my heart towards Jesus, and immediately started getting these downloads, downloads on the heavenly family. You've got the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And this divine family existed for eons past before creation <laughs> ever came into existence or being. You had the dynamic of the Father, and the dynamic of the, of the, of the matriarch, the, the Holy Spirit, and the dynamic of the Son. And these three that are just existing, pouring love into each other, constant movement, as Cynthia Bourgeau defines in, within the Trinity. And then they had this amazing idea to have a bride for their son, for Jesus. And so the son went on this grand adventure to the earth to find for himself a bride. It's no less magical or significant than a hero in a fantasy novel going, learning who he is in a foreign land, bringing the culture of heaven with him displaying the power of God that's present in his life, discovering new friends, fighting dragons, even giving his life only to rise again, to rise with his bride into his destiny. So it's a really beautiful picture that's being painted. So when you think about Jesus, you think about the church, his body of Christ, the bride, it's all a family expression. So nothing that is genuine is going to happen within the church or the kingdom that doesn't have at its core value that being a family, the, the image of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. As triune beings were created in that same in, image of spirit, of soul, of body. And if I have my wife here, I can have a triune connection with her of spirit, of soul, of body. That's why it's so important to protect a pure lifestyle. And so when you think about these things, if everything is born out of that dynamic, out of that relationship that's demonstrated within the Trinity and our union and inclusion into that as the fourth member, the Bride of Christ, everything we do on the earth needs to be representative of that. So you have apostles, prophets, evangelists, pastors, and teachers I love the fivefold, and for me that was the pinnacle for over a decade of ministry. But what I found and discovered, especially with some of the fathers of the faith and how they've described the apostolic recently, the apostolic can only truly emerge out of family. I'd rather see a house that has a mother and a father who are raising up daughters and sons who know who God is and know their identities. And if you have those things in place, you have the atmosphere for the true, authentic, fivefold ministry. Apostles, prophets, evangelists, pastors, teachers to emerge. But you can't desire to have something that uses the name apostolic or prophetic without the heart to mother and father. That's the key that unlocks their ability to be able to equip the saints for works of service. I just saw Northwest Prophetic make a comment on Facebook that said, you want to be an apostle, a prophet, evangelist, pastor, teacher? That's fantastic. Equip the saints, but wash their feet. Not washing the feet the way a servant would be forced to wash the feet of a master, but the way the parent would gently clean the feet of their little kid after they've been outside enjoying themselves in the dirt, in the mud, in the things of life. So kingdom is all about family. It's all about a kingdom family movement, as Leif Hetland so masterfully articulates. So that everything we do as a church, ecclesia, a governing body that governs heaven and the earth, the whole way we're able to demonstrate that is because the reality of the relationship of the Father and the Son and the Spirit and our connection and our place in that, finding our identity in that, is displayed in our life in a way that attracts all creation to the revealing of the sons and daughters of God. Again, it's a family paradigm. What do you think? It's beautiful. It's beautiful? All right. There you have it. It's beautiful. Beautiful family. See you guys next time. Bye.